This is probably the most beautiful and well-designed carbon fiber travel tripod I've ever seen. The Heibi 3-in-1 W28. Hey, what's up? I'm Mike and you are watching Mimic Media. There's really not much to say about tripods anymore, but this tripod with its unique design really caught my eye. First of all, this tripod looks absolutely gorgeous. You can really see the attention to detail and the build quality and materials are very good. When folded, it's very compact and has a clean closed look. That's what I really like about this tripod. Reason for that is the unique design of the three pillar center column, which not only makes the tripod very space efficient and portable, but also highly improves the stability of the center column. The big locking ring let you tighten the center column very strong, so it can hold weight up to 25 kg. But it gets even better. When you take off the center column completely, you can use it as a secondary smaller tripod. How cool is this, right? The ball head is detachable and can be used on both tripods. A nice little detail which I haven't seen on any other tripod is that there is a small little locking screw on the bottom that you can tighten so the ball head doesn't come loose that easy. The ball head with its 50mm sphere diameter is massive and can hold up to 25 kilograms, which is incredible for a travel tripod. Bigger camera setups, no problem. The ball head got a smooth 360 degree pan function. You can adjust the resistance with the locking screw and you can also screw in this little screw here and make the pan move in clicks, which might become in handy for panorama photos. But for me as a filmmaker, I prefer the smooth pan. Of course you can bring the camera easy in vertical mode for all your IG Reels and YouTube short guys. New generation of smartphones make banger videos, so it's cool that in the ball head is a hidden smartphone clamp integrated for all your iPhone filmmakers out there. The ball head comes with its own quick release plate and is Arca Swiss compatible. However, I found out that the quick release locking ring system on the KF50Q ball head only works well with the small squared Arca Swiss plates. If you got a longer Arca Swiss plate, it might doesn't fit that well. It depends where the locking pins or the stopping pins can sink in in the Arca Swiss plate. What I don't like with this quick release system is that you can't clump it really hard because you can only rotate the locking ring just a little and it don't snap in or something and it doesn't feel very trustworthy to put on a big and expensive camera setup. You don't really know if it's tight or maybe come loose when you're walking around with your camera mounted on the tripod. Maybe I'm wrong and the quick release system works very well, but it doesn't feel like that. That's why I prefer the traditional screw lock like on the KF50S ball head, which works very well with every Arca Swiss plate. The KF50S is basically the same ball head as the KF50Q, which is included in the standard pack. The only difference is the locking system. You need to order the K50S separately, which costs around 100 bucks. It would be so much nicer if we can choose which ball head version we can get with the standard pack. We don't need two ball heads. Nobody wants to order a ball head for additional 100 bucks. So hey B, if you're watching this, maybe you can add an option on your homepage where we can choose which ball head version we can get with the standard pack. The carbon fiber legs looks awesome and the main tripod can reach a height of 126 centimeters and up to 150 centimeters with the center column fully extended. The lowest setting has a height of 36 centimeters with center column and just 18 centimeters without the center column. The legs are adjustable in three locked angles. Unfolding the legs feels very stiff too stiff in my opinion, but it can change after using for a while, I don't know. What I don't like that much is if you want to adjust the angle of the leg to the outside, you must fold the legs far to the inside to be able to press the safety button, which doesn't feel that high quality either, so time will tell if this will break or not. If you already set up your camera and you want to adjust the angle to a wider stand, you need to tilt the whole system quite a bit in order to release the lock lock button. I prefer a stair lock mechanism like on the most other tripods out there. 
their levers to lock their leg height are well made, but sometimes they don't click into place properly, but that also can change after using it for a while. A nice feature is that the spikes are integrated in the feet, just screw the rubber base out and swap the spikes to the outside and make yourself a spear when you get attacked by a beer. So now that we covered all the features and build quality, there's one important point left, especially for travel tripods. How much does it weigh? And what's the packing size? The tripod has a total weight of 1335 grams with a pack length of 45 centimeters and a maximum diameter of 7 centimeters. That's maybe a little bit more than other travel tripods, but it's due to the big ball head, which has a height of 85 millimeters and a weight of 270 gram. My thoughts it is, Habe did a great job. It's hands down the best looking tripod out there and my favorite to use outside because of its better stability of the center column, which is a big advantage over other tripods. Heck, I even prefer it over my bigger studio video tripod when I don't need a fluid head tilt axis because the ball head holds up so much more weight. If this tripod has a one step height adjustment like you see on the Sachtler Flowtech or some newer models of the other brands, it would be the perfect tripod. With that said, peace out. I give you some behind the scenes of my latest hiking video where I use this tripod with a big ass camera setup. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe, all that good stuff that support my channel. I'm Mike from Mimic Media. Peace out. Here's here, all iced up, can't walk here. Okay, let's see you up there. Let's set up the camera. It's super windy here, so ideal condition to test the sturdiness of the center column. It should be much better than my other travel tripods. And trust me, you don't want to bring up a big heavy tripod up here. It's insane how you have to climb that iced stairs up, so almost zero grip on the shoes. And I have to do all twice because of this behind the scenes. 
Okay, bring it up. And let's see if these legs are already frozen. Nope, everything is good because it's not metal, it's carbon fiber, so nothing will freeze. Get the critics left of that metal ledges there. So let's give it a nice stand. Nice grip with the spikes. And bring up the center corner a little bit. Okay. And that's super nice that you can clamp it really hard. So, absolutely sturdy as sturdy. So I hope that nothing will freeze there. Look at this. So much wind, the camera blows away. But the tripod, nothing is bobbling. In case you wonder, I'm recording um, some ambient sounds with a Zoom F3 32 bit float. And the dome basically you choose attached to some small rig magic arms. So lens I'm using is 16 to 28 millimeters with a small big net box and uh, this view monitor and some big KNF concept um, V-mount battery so I don't need to um, bring additional accus for the monitor or something like that and yeah let's give it a shot so I can't record as long as I want because um, there's a blizzard coming up there and I don't want to um, damage my camera equipment. I'm giving the tripod a little bit wider stand so um, the wind don't blow off the camera. And that's what I mean, what I don't like is safety pins. You can pull it in now. So you, you need to tilt the whole camera setup all the way until there. Now it locks or snaps off and I can adjust the leg. Same here. Yeah. It's not ideal. start to act crazy so it's extremely laggy so I think it's a little bit frozen like all this stuff here and you can't see anything the blizzard is here <laughs> that's my feel right now okay then Day. I got maybe two minutes of footage <laughs> for all this. Let's go back down. Maybe I can record something uh, a little bit down the hill. But here it's too freezing cold. Camera, I don't like that cold conditions. 